next speed anytime you're ready. Well, sitting here talking with D.B. Sweeney, and I have to tell you, the first time I ever saw your name without knowing who you were, D.B. Sweeney, and in my mind, I saw an older, bald-headed man <laughs> for some really? reason. I don't know why. You have a future as a character actor. <laughs> but you're anything. You're, I, don't even, I don't know your age, but you're young. Yes. Do you tell your age or not? Sure, 25. 25. You and Michael Fox, Michael J. Fox, and Matthew Broderick, you're all the same age. We are. Yeah, you're all 25. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're a lot taller than they are. Yeah, I think uh, a, little, a little different. Yes, but uh, I have to tell you, D.B., that I enjoyed your performance tremendously. Thank you. And I know it is your first major role in a film. What a fantastic first major role. Now, I'm told there were lots of actors in competition for the role. Is that so? That's that's what I've heard too. I, I I had three meetings with Francis Coppola over a period of about a month and a half, so I assume he was meeting people all during that time. And uh, I've read in uh, some of the releases and so on that there was quite a number of actors to be seen. I was just glad to get the shot. Did you do anything special in your readings or your meetings with Francis Coppola to sort of make him remember you? Well, I, don't, I must have done something right, but I, it didn't seem very extraordinary at the time. It was just, uh, I had, in the first two meetings I had with him, we just sat down and talked about uh, just about everything but acting, you know, uh, the world and things. And uh, then the third meeting, we read just about every scene Jackie Willow has in the movie. With, uh, I read with another guy, and he just watched, and we read every scene two or three times. And that was pretty extraordinary, because you don't usually get an audition that's an hour and a half long. And uh, that was it. And I felt like I had done a decent job, but I didn't feel like I had a shot at the part. I figured they'd go hire somebody from the Brad Pack or, uh, or somebody everybody's heard of, because it was such a big part and, and such a great project. As far as the interpretation, would he ask you any personal questions about how you felt about the military or how you felt about Vietnam or just wars in general? Francis didn't really, he didn't do a lot of that. He, he basically would, would would let me run with it and then try to shape where I was going. He wouldn't try to, do, to, uh, to, to push me in a certain direction, generally. He would just, he would trust my interpretation, basically, and then attempt to bring out whatever I felt it was about, which I thought was great because ultimately I'm the guy who's got to do it, you know, and a lot of directors try and push you and manipulate you, and he never did that. D.B., what, uh, and let me <clears throat> stop myself right there. What does the D.B. stand for? Daniel Bernard. And why do you use the initials? The, uh, the Actors Union has another guy that has Daniel Sweeney and Dan Sweeney. And uh, the first come, first serve on names in the union. So uh, I had to look for another, another option. What do your friends call you? About half and half DB and Danny. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> when you actually, the first time, had to read with James Kahn, Angelica Houston, uh, James Earl Jones, I mean, all heavyweight Dean actors. Dean Stockwell and Lynette McKee. Yeah, I walked in. Actually, I was late for the first rehearsal because I got the job the night before and had to fly in to Washington. And I walked into the room and they were all sitting there. And it was pretty intimidating company. It took me uh, several days to, you know, to find my uh, stride because I was, you know, and Francis Coppola sitting over there, you know, the king of film, you know, and I thought, this is pretty heavy company. So I I just, it took a lot of, you know, relaxing and trying to cool out and finally after about four or five days I was able to, you know, fit in there a little bit. How did they treat you, the other actors? They were great to me from word one. I, I'll never forget, like, right when I walked in, I, it was very tense atmosphere and uh, maybe just for me. But Jimmy Kahn got up from his chair right away. He was all the way on the other side of the big round table and he came over and shook my hand, patted me on the back and said, Jimmy Kahn, welcome. And that was that spoke for the whole cast and, and that was the, everybody's attitude and uh, nobody ever gave me a bad time or anything. As far as individual scenes, D.B., do you recall that any one scene was particularly difficult for you? Um, I'd say the scene that was most difficult was the... Uh, hmm. That's a hard one. I'd say my father's funeral, which isn't in the movie. <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, the, the most difficult scene was, uh, it's a similar scene to when, uh, to the other funerals in the movie, but the irony is that instead of 
performing the funeral, I become one of the mourners. So uh, I, I had a difficult time with it for a lot of reasons, and uh, it didn't make it to the movie, I guess, for reasons of time. But uh, it, I think it worked out okay. I just, there were a lot of great scenes in this movie that didn't make it because, uh, you know, you have, I guess, 10 or 12 great actors like that, and working with Francis, there's, there's so much terrific stuff to choose from that you have to keep it down to a couple hours, you know. In talking with other fellows who are in the military, uh, and I understand a number of real military people did play minor roles in this movie, were you able to get any sense of how they feel about being in the military and, and on that particular duty? Yes, ma'am. We, uh, we had direct contact with the whole old guard. They were, they were there for us the whole time to train us to march and just to be there as a resource for us. And we even had scenes, we have that big, big parade scene where there are only the, the uh, six actors and then there are 500 actual old guard soldiers. And being in and around them, there was, a, you know, there was just a, a fountain of information and insight into you know, what these characters go through and what their lives are like. Did you ever think that you could see yourself in that role, I mean, in that real life role? I don't think so. I don't have the, the long-term discipline to, to, to do what they do for a tour of duty for three years. I could do it for three months, but, uh, or two years, I'm not sure what the, what the tour is. But uh, no, I, I, the military isn't really for me. I'm a little bit too much of a, of a free spirit for uh, you know, fitting in ranks too long. Was acting always your ambition? No, I was. Uh, my ambition was to play with the Red Sox. Really? Yeah. And that didn't work out, so I looked around. Acting looked pretty good. Looked did like you, those guys took it pretty easy. Did you try baseball and sports? Yeah, I played a lot of baseball, and then I had my legs kind of went out, and uh, I, you know, I just gave it up. Not fully, though. I'm still a weekend warrior. And you took up basketball. And well, I just played all sports all the time, <laughs> you know, tennis, basketball. And uh, we had a little problem with the basketball game then. Yeah, yeah, a uh, little sprained ankle. Well, I hope that heals, and uh, I think your success in this movie uh, to help the healing along a whole lot, at least your, your spirits, I think, should be lifted. D.B., it's been nice talking with you, and again, I enjoyed your performance. I think that uh, we're going to hear a lot more about D.B. Sweeney. Thank you. Thank you. Nice interview, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm just new to this, so sorry. Speed. We have speed anytime. Speed. 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 What does DB stand for? Why are you using initials DB instead of your real name? I understand there were many actors in competition for this role, is that right? When you went to meet with Francis Coppola, did you do anything special so that he would remember you? What was it like the first time you met with the rest of the cast? Did you talk with any real military people in this situation to find out how they feel about what they do? Do you see your life, do you see yourself ever in the military? Of all your scenes, D.B., which do you think was the hardest one for you to do? And now some reactions. Okay, thank you.